just right here on the chat or clock show and indeed your final thoughts on this topic about the worth of a woman evelyn how did you accept yourself Ah. Final thoughts is somebody watching you thinking my weight, my body shape, Everything. my complexion. Oh my god! I don't even have a beautiful voice like you. Ah, <laughs> you mean so? Wait, which is my camera? Which is my camera? Listen. Let me tell you one thing. Yeah. I used to have a low self-esteem. Mm-hmm. I used to hate my nose. I used to hate my color complexion. Yeah, nice. I used to hate my teeth. <laughs> you know, I was like feeling I'm not that person. Hey, and my hair because I don't have a hairline. Oh. Hey, oh, by yes. the way, you should watch my Instagram. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it <just> come, <laughs> like, you know. Mm-hmm. But you know, when, when, when so for me, I had to accept myself because someone told me that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm. And so when I got this man, that was eyeing on me and he said my friend you are so beautiful <laughs> i was like kaifa <laughs> and you know i used to be like a tomboy putting a cup like this uh-huh. and bouncing you know and doing rap 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 and all that and just to be like a boy so that because i never thought that there is anybody who gonna see look mm-hmm. at me mm-hmm. but i want to encourage somebody who feels they are they are, they're not worthy mm. they are not their value is not of you know it's not they, they feel they are not valuable yeah. mm. you are fearfully and wonderfully made love yourself put that makeup hata kama utaeka makeup tengeneza uso wako tu vizuri dress well and raise your head high mm-hmm. it's like that yes, yes. and cut walk yes. because you're fearfully and wonderfully made mm. you are the prophet that one woman mm. you conquer the world you conquer the nations amen hey and we are in the first week of first day of the month mm-hmm. You know I'm just feeling in my spirit that God is transforming lives today even as you're speaking here right mm. now there's a woman seated and they're feeling worthless mm. they are feeling they're not they're they're not they're not valuable mm. guys God loves you mm. start your year start your week not your year mm-hmm. start your, your week and your month <laughs> knowing that you're blessed and you're loved and you're beautiful amen, amen. wow I will continue with, like what Evelyn said today is the first day of September mm-hmm. and from today know this you're not too late mm-hmm. I felt I was late I felt I had delayed yeah. I thought I would never catch up with my peers mm-hmm. and God had a timing for me yeah. And I'm saying to you woman there is something inside you that has a time slot yeah. and your time slot is from now in mm. the name of Jesus Amen. and God is going to bring out something that is precious that is beautiful and shall change this generation. Mm. I want to tell you if you're single you will get married. Mm. Don't rush in that direction do what you're doing stay in your spot. Mm. And if you're if you're married you're married late you don't have children you're going to get children. Yes. God has everything in his hands. Amen. Woman you are beautiful you are precious and God you. Amen. You. I've wow. been your host, Becky Esther, and indeed, start living now. You are worthy because God has made you so. Mm. Amazing, amazing. What more can we say? Mm-hmm. Thank wow. you so much, Reverend Rachel and Evelyn Wanjiro for being so open, so vulnerable for relating with someone out there who is struggling with self-image and all those kind of things and finding their value and we're so glad that you've kept us company since uh, 7 to now 10 a.m. We're so glad we want to do this next Sunday. We love you so much. We pray for you. Teneni Kanisa.